lots of problems. So the thing that you most want to avoid, the thing that you have been avoiding maybe for months, maybe for years, is very often the thing that holds the key to everything, right? It is the thing that will crack you so far open that you will have no choice but to remember exactly who the fuck you are and what you came here to do. And that thing that you've been running from, running from, running from, spending all of your time, your energy running from, investing in everything else, right? Investing in everything else that will help you do all the other things and in, in, in kind of telling yourself that it's going to get you exactly where you want to be, except you, like, deep down, you know it's not. <laughs> that thing, that thing, that thing, that fucking thing, it's going to crack open the truth, the remembrance, the wilds, everything that you know beyond knowing like if you allowed things to get quiet enough if you allowed things to get still enough you know it's going to open you into that right but so why do you spend so much time why do we spend so much time avoiding and running and 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 and, and pretty much in this threat response of flight of like okay i'm gonna oh my god that's it i, I know this is, i know this is going to really like knock everything off its socks like or i don't even know whatever saying that would be right but it's, it's gonna like oh my god it's gonna change everything why do we spend so much time running from it because if in our body we haven't created the safety for us to actually live in the remembrance of whatever it is that we're running from we will do everything in our power to not allow that to happen and to not allow that into our lives and so this is, it, it, it requires us to look at how much, how much of a relationship, how much connection we have with our own inherent safety. And you might say like, oh, of course I feel so safe. Like, uh, yeah, like my life, it's great. It's this and this and this. Or like, yeah, I mean, duh, I know I'm fine. I know all of these things. And the more that we try to come at safety from a headspace, from a disconnected space, from a theoretical space, uh, the less we actually embody that safety. And until we can come back into like, whoa, okay, so me stepping fully into the thing, the, the thing, the thing, whatever that is for you, that expression, the message that was born to you, the medicine that is encoded into your very veins, your blood, your bones, until you create the safe to act the safety to actually live that to to feel safe in your body in your own skin in your own life to fully access that right so the full access like of the full range the full expression of that truth you won't have it like you, you will continue to run you will continue doing everything in your power to not do that you will continue creating situations that make it like damn near impossible for you to have the thing that you like want and crave more than anything because it's 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 like a homecoming right it, it's the truth of you but so you'll do all kinds of things that will keep you from actually living that from from receiving that from embodying that and so you have the safety around that and and so this can look like right um creating a bunch of catch-22s where like you're like oh well once i have this that's when i will fully step into this other thing oh wait but in order for me to fully step into this other thing, I have to already have this in place. Shit. What's that? Hmm? Oh, yes, squirrel. That, that's right. That's, that's right. Right. Like you'll go to, like you'll set up these catch 22s in which you are in this continuous reality loop of trying to get to this thing so that you can have this thing. But you don't actually believe that you can have this thing until you've created this thing on the, on the side. Right. And so then you go into this reality loop of, of chasing, chasing, chasing your tail and chasing all kinds of other things and, and seeking all kinds of external validation to actually just drop into the thing that it was all along, which was the truth of you, which was the fullest, deepest expression of you, which was the remembrance of you, which was the primal of you, which was the you of you. <sighs> yeah. And so when you're in, when you, st when you find yourself stuck on this creative hamster wheel of doom and you're, you're replaying over and over and over again, you've created all kinds of catch 22s, right? Um, there might be one big one or there might be a whole bunch of them, but that keep you on this, this, this freaking hamster wheel. You've got to be willing to look at, okay, so, and, and really drop this inquiry into your body, do a practice, do a wild nectar practice, one of mine, right? 
get into your body start to create the safety like ask yourself well before you create it ask yourself ask your body really drop in do we feel safe to actually be the full out unapologetic expression of this thing right uh, of this of the thing do we actually feel like completely unapologetically safe to embody and live and express this thing and then notice the resistance that comes up like, oh, of course we do ah, ah, right like notice that oh my god ah. uh, notice any irritation agitation notice any frustration notice um any disconnect where you're like what i i can't even i don't even what's the question what like you're yawning you're tired you're like just so like can't even can't even be bothered to sit down and actually drop into the inquiry in and of itself so notice all of these and then drop in again talking to your body Okay, so what do we need? What do you need from me? What do what needs to be in place for us to begin cultivating the safety? We don't have to get to the end zone in one practice, in one moment, one inquiry, one journaling session, right? What do we, what needs to happen? What's the net? What's this next step for us to begin cultivating the next level of safety that we need in order for us to fully embody this thing, right? And then we go deeper and deeper from there. But that's like that that's that's that that's that first step so let me know what what is the thing for you and then how are you feeling like what is your body offering up to you as like yeah this this is where we need to go let me know below i would love to just like drop in and, and just like hear from you and see where you're at and all that good stuff so yeah if you want to go deeper you i mean you, you know where to find me but maybe you don't um you can head over to yourbodyofwork.com and this will drop us into like delicious succulent erotic communication and mentoring and co-creation every single day every single week in my membership body of work so if this feels aligned for you i invite you to come over there and join us i've um, got some other magic uh, new biwak program dropping soon some other yummy yummy yumminess but if you know like you're ready for the day-to-day -day work that's going to help you do the deep work then join us yourbodyatwork.com yeah, thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, I love you. Hit subscribe, turn on that little bell, turn on notifications, hit like, all that, all that YouTube jazz, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Oh, as always, here's to your untaming. Bye, wild ones.